come ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for the support you always offer to this channel now jimmy wajigi's move is raising a lot of political tension in the republic of Kenya, and this is not the first time i'm representing jimmy wajigi's political analysis as you know he had been speaking so long and whatever i say we recall how jimmy wajigi made a promise on april that is going to tell kenyans the way forward and according to what I've observed is that Jim Wanjigi is eyeing for presidency race 2027. That is whatever is now happening and I will come back with that analysis. But for now, we want to concentrate on what Jim Wanjigi is saying today. This is whatever Jim Wanjigi is saying to Kalonzo Msioka. Uh, Kalonzo Msioka, as I'm just displaying it, Kalonzo should take kill from Raila and retire Jim Wanjigi. He carried on by saying, Kalonzo Msioka has hit the road, positioning himself to take over leadership, but he should just take the cue from Raila and retire. It's nothing new to offer Kenyans, and instead should use an, uh, in a new leadership in us, in his own wiper party, sorry, Wanjigi stated. Then he carried on by now somehow lamenting to himself. <clears throat> we have one problem in our Kenya. It is William Ruto. His, his status Q is continued, continuity of the same problems. He helped create that and have brought us here. The same people who created the problems cannot get us out of it. He offers, he offers no hope nor real change, Wanjigi lamented. We are still proceeding. He had Kenyans. Fellow Kenyans, I understand and share in your pain. We have got a lot of challenges in our great country, but equally we got enormous strength. We are optimistic people. We have been, we, we've been daily with hope. We are known for an unrelenting fight for change. We have always shown a greater togetherness. We are going to win our economic and financial work future. Don't doubt. We won't throw our hands and give up. We will not quiet. I will not quit until ruin change is achieved. In Kenya, he concluded. What is the aim of Jimmy Wanjiki? That is the first thing we ought to ask ourselves. As uh, it is taking a very strong political wave in our country, what is his aim? If I may ask. And honestly, I believe he is the best man for the job. He will do this country proud and this continent proud. My friend Kalonzo Mosioka has hit the road positioning himself to take over leadership. And it is my view, my view, and I don't think I'm alone, that Kalonzo Mosioka is best following the path of Raila Amolo Odinga. He has been in elective politics for 40 years. He is part of the old order. He has got no change agenda. He should really be retiring and looking for different leadership in his wiper party to come up to the national stage. It's a time to hand over to new people, fresh people, younger people. We have now become a debt-driven economy, completely debt-driven. You've listened to Jimmy Wanjigi, how he was speaking on that action. 
Before I carry on with this analysis, I want to appreciate you members because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached to where it is. By the way, thank you so much for the, your subscription. Uh, we are almost reaching 2,000 subscribers and God bless you so much. Continue with the same spirit. Share your, this channel to your family, friends and relatives kindly. You are forgetting one thing. After, after you've watched the video, like the video. Share and give us your opinion at the comment section below. This embrace YouTube community and it is trying to give our channel title and a pri prioritized for more advertisement. That is whatever you can offer and welcome all of you, both new subscribers and the old subscribers. And if this might be your first time also, just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you subscribe, watch our videos, like, share, and give us your opinion. Let's proceed. I have three points to put across. One, Jimmy Majigi is attacking William Samuel Ruto uh, directly. Two, he is attacking Kalonzo Msioka directly. Then three, he is embracing his presidential race for 2027. It's very clear from the three points I've mentioned. And I want to begin with one. Number one, attacking William Samuel Ruto. He's attacking William Samuel Ruto, making alert on, the, on what is said that April is going to lead Kenyans for demonstration, of which let's wait and see if it is going to be possible. Because the only person who is known in the country who can declare public holiday is none other than Raila Morodinga. That is the truth. But we want to see if Jimmy Wanjigi is going to work hand on, hand on hand with the government to make them to have public holiday. Because obvious, that is whatever is going to do. According to whatever we are now seeing. Second, Jimmy Wanjigi is attacking Kalonzo Msioka. Why do you think Jimmy Wanjigi is telling Kalonzo Msioka to resign and quit politics. Why do you think? Number one, Jim Manjigi is aiming for presidential race 2027. As I have said, he's aiming for presidential race 2027. That is why he wants Kalonzo Msioka to resign and he himself to fight William Samuel Ruto. How will he fight William Samuel Ruto? You know Kalonzo Msioka when I observed it, I observed him, sorry, he has skills, more skills in politics as compared to Jimmy Wajigi. There are things you cannot go with thorax. There are things you can go with thorax. But Jimmy Wajigi, when you observed how he articulated his polit political move, is going with thorax. He is ready for war and he is going without even looking both sides as if you are driving. You have to check on side mirrors, both the left, right, center, and find if there is somebody behind, front, sides. Even before you open the uh, door of a vehicle, you have to relax and check all the side mirrors if closed or if open. Then you check if there is somebody following you, maybe a thug or anything else. So that is whatever Jimmy Wajig is not looking. This 2027, ladies and gentlemen, God willing, if you will reach there, God willing, it's going to be a very big challenge. Because as I will speak, Ruto have made his road to be smooth. That is whatever we can say. But now, why do you think he is raising a scaring message to Kalonza Msioka? He wants all the Kamba people to vote for him. And uh, as you know, he's running the, the, the deputy. That Jimmy Wanjigi wants always is that man from low, 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 low nation, uh, Piki Piki Ponki. <laughs> I don't want to mention the other name. That, that is the name, the unique name. Many Kenyans know, know him. But now we don't want to talk about all the deputies. We want to only to concentrate on Jimmy Wanjigis. As I have just said. Because... This is not the first time Jimmy Wanjigi is throwing a political bombshell to our country, Kenya. The, Jimmy Wanjigi is a man who can call the president and talk to the president. 
Why issuing a threat? Is, are these the way of solving problem? Have you ever asked yourself, why do you think Raila nowadays is quiet? He no longer issue a threat to the government. Have you ever asked yourself? Solving the problem, a problem is not by going back to the street. It is coming together, finding a resolution, and come up, come out with the best solution. If it is a matter of lowering, lowering the price of flour down, you must come out with a resolution and find what next. But for now, I don't know if Jimmy Wanjigi is trying to tell us that uh, he is the only person to be listened to. And as you know, Kingpin Mount Kenya is raising a lot of also questions. Who is going to be the Kingpin after Uru Kenyatta's retirement? Is it going to be Jimmy Wanjigi? Remember, we have the current deputy president, Rigadi Gashawa, who is a man and a half. He cannot allow anyone to take whatever he wants. So these are the challenges we are, we, are, we are seeing in our country. But for now, I can only ask the government to fulfill the promises. Forget about the early campaigns and also leaders. You should forget about early campaigns. Remain united. Focus for Kenyans and concentrate to whatever you are doing in your life. Election will come and go. And let's remain united. And that is, that is all. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this Jimmy Wanjigis? political wave in our country as i end my analysis thank you very much for listening to me stay more stay tuned for more political updates